Hi, I'm Jessica from Jessica Wanderers, and I'm here to show you my fourth grocery haul of the year. My goal is to spend $75 a week for two people or $150 every two weeks. I usually do my grocery shops bi-weekly when we get our paychecks. If you're new here, I'll leave a, a link up here uh, where you can click and see the entire playlist where one week I do a grocery haul video and then the next week I do a meal ideas this week. Uh, what's for dinner, lunch, and breakfast with the food that I bought from the meal plan and what I have uh, available in my house. My $150 every two weeks is meant to buy groceries for myself and my husband, as well as trying to get things on sale that stock up my pantry. So if I'm low on something and it goes on sale, I'll try to buy a bunch of it uh, so that we, we don't run out of those things as well. Uh, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. With gas prices and uh, and such the way that they are. I've been trying, I haven't been going in to a lot of grocery stores. So what happened this week is I did one grocery delivery, which cost uh, less, wow, about the same amount of gas as it would take for me to drive there. Plus when you get a grocery delivery, you don't have the opportunity to uh, impulse buy things like I usually do. So I got one grocery delivery and then I got one, uh, pickup where my son was in town anyways and he picked up my groceries for me they didn't what it was a walmart pickup and apparently our walmarts don't actually give paper receipts anymore which is a bit of a pain for me actually because that's how i keep a track of my records but i'll show you the uh the email receipt that they sent me so that we can be clear with how much money i spent so let's get into what i got for this bi-weekly grocery haul I shopped at two different stores this week. I went to Save On. I didn't. I got delivery from Save On, and uh, I did a pickup order from Walmart at Save On Foods. They had a great deal on uh, sort of bulk cheeses. Now, these are 1.35 kilograms of Armstrong cheese. 1.35 kilograms is a three-pound block of cheese. Um, of good cheese, Armstrong cheese is you know, much better than the store brand cheeses. And so that works out, it was $16.99 for a block, regular on sale for 22. It works out to $5.66 a pound for cheese, which is a little bit more expensive than the cheapest cheese that I can get, which is um, store brand uh, cheese at Walmart. But this is some great cheese, so I'm gonna divide it up and use some of it and then freeze the rest of it. I'm pretty stoked about that deal. Avocados were on sale again and they were $3.99 for four avocados so that was nice. I grabbed those. Um, we were running really low on coffee in the pantry and Mr. Wanderers was like starting to panic so uh, I wanted four of these Maxwell House uh, coffees but they only gave me three, which was fine. I substituted some other stuff as well, but it was on sale for $7.99 for uh, 900 grams, which is two pounds of coffee. So those will those will be great. He likes the rich dark roast. All right, what else are we looking at? Yeah, so the Armstrong cheese, regularly $23, was on for 17. Avocados, regular seven, were on for four. Yes, bags. Yes, delivery fee. Uh, Maxwell coffee. Um, was three at $12.99, but then with the card, I saved more money. Uh, Purex bathroom tissue, oh, was on sale for $4.99 for these 12 equals 24. This is this math right here is what I like to call toilet paper math. <laughs> I think we all call it toilet paper math. 12 equals 24. Uh, I have even done comparisons where I count the number of sheets. Anyway, I got two of these packs each for $4.99. So that was Save On Foods. If you were with me during the pantry challenge, you know that I am out of, of uh, canned evaporated milk. So these were on for $1.27 at Walmart. I've seen them go down to $1.19 and uh, you know, last year I used to see them going down to 99 cents. I don't know if we'll see that again. You could only buy five at a time, a limit of five. So I bought the two different kinds that they had. They have 2% partly skimmed evaporated milk and then they also have 
this one that isn't partly skimmed, I guess. So I got 10 of those at $1.27. So $12.70 for that. I'm probably gonna put pictures of the receipt as I go up here because I don't I don't have it except on my computer. Yes. I also got this half and half cream, half and half cream for $2.78 each. Um, I'm down to using the 10%. It seems like the yogurt I make with the 10% is just sufficient. I like it with the coffee cream. It makes a thicker yogurt, but this will do, and it's about half, almost half the price um, compared to the 18% table cream. So this is what we're using right now. Really wanted some fruit in the house. So I picked up these apples. They were $5.97. Not, they weren't on sale, but there weren't any apples on sale that I noticed this week at Walmart. So that's what I got. I was craving some apples. I got these uh, sliced, Ollie Mel sliced meats submarine tree pepperoni salami and smoked bacon submarine trio they were five dollars each and i have some uh meal ideas so i got two of these one will probably go in the freezer and one that i'll, that I'll use this week for for some meals so that was ten dollars five dollars each i find that walmart their sandwich meat is the best price around right now save on food sandwich meat is just way too expensive for me yeah we ran out, as I showed in the grocery haul, I think last time that we were out of Powerade in the pantry and my husband loves drinking it. So it doesn't have to be Powerade, Gatorade or Powerade. The Powerade was just cheaper this week at $15.97. I wish I could have got two of them, but that didn't fit in the budget this week. I did say I was gonna get some chips. I tried to get more, but they were out of a lot of stock. Has anybody noticed that they're running out of chips everywhere? <laughs> it's crazy. So, but I did manage to get some three of these barbecue chips. That's what I like. Uh, I didn't manage to get any um, types that Mr. Wanders likes to, likes to have, but that's my barbecue chips. We'll load them up into the pantry. Um, I'll still be on the lookout for snacks and chips to fill that shelf downstairs and they these chips were three for nine dollars so three dollars a bag it seems so pricey when did chips get so expensive <laughs> but anyway yeah they they don't have stock and uh, and they're they're quite expensive so there you go but you need a snack sometimes and then i got some greenery so i got this iceberg lettuce iceberg lettuce was two dollars and 97 cents i feel like they've kept the price the same but the iceberg lettuces are just getting really small. Um, I, that's kind of shrinkflation. Are the lettuces just getting smaller? What's happening? It's, it feels pretty dense, this one at least. Sometimes they're really squishy. So that's $3 for this lettuce. But this leaf lettuce I also got was $2.47. So it was a lot cheaper and it's like a lot bigger. So... It seems more worth it, but sometimes you just like a nice crunchy iceberg lettuce, but $2.47, $2.97. So now in the chip aisle, we've got tortilla chips and some barbecue chips. There we go. It's looking better. Still no candy and treats though, and that's important stuff too. <laughs> like to stock up, not crazy toilet paper, but I like to buy it when it's cheap, because it can get a little bit ridiculous. So that's what I've got for toilet paper. There's definitely a hole here where my evaporated milk should be from the pantry challenge. So I'm gonna pull this one out so that that's the first one that gets used up. But I feel pretty good. 10 isn't probably what I would normally want, but we'll see what it looks like when I get them all in there. I 
makes me want to make cheesecake. So that doesn't feel bad. That feels great. That's 11 with the one that I already had in here. I would probably put in another maybe 12 or maybe a whole another 12 actually. So I'll be looking for good prices on those. The flats weren't on sale. They should come on sale, you know, eventually. So we'll keep an eye out. This is the state of the coffee and tea shop. Obviously I have over a year's supply of tea and then, and also peppermint tea because I like it. Uh, but Mr. Wanders is dangerously low on coffee. So let's get some coffee in there. Still do need more coffee, but we'll have to keep our eye out. You know, I remember when coffee used to go on sale for like $5. This was on sale for $8, $7.99. I don't know if I'm just getting old or it just seems like everything's more expensive. But yeah, that's the state of it. So I got three more. And this is the one that was already in there. I would like to have double this, so four more on top would make me super happy. And then I'd feel good. That takes up so much space. <laughs> like, that's four months worth of coffee, and then this is a year, over a year's worth of tea. Yeah, it's so big <laughs> and expensive, really. But there it is. He prefers the dark, rich, dark roast. Here's the Powerade. I would like a whole nother one of those right there. So I'll be watching for those. Look at these onions I got last week are starting to sprout. So clearly they were last year's onions. Look at them, crazy. I should plant them in the garden. I might just plant them in the garden. That's so funny and disappointing. I still feel like there are a lot of gaps in the pantry. I might look start looking for peanut butter, maybe a little bit more pasta. Usually this entire area is filled up, but lots of the gaps um, are because I haven't started canning for the season. Uh, cereal, I have to watch for cereal too. Yes, over here especially, there's a lot of gaps here and here and here that get filled up with veggies from the garden. I'm a little low still on broth and uh, and some meats. I could get some tuna. Tuna just never, oh, that's, oh, I've got lots of tuna. You know, I could get some more chicken. I don't use it for a lot of things, but I'm definitely low on smoked oysters. Mm, not spam, although camping season is coming up for, for some reason. There's things that you only eat when you're camping. Do you guys have things that you only eat when you're camping? I used to only eat smoked oysters when I was camping and I mostly usually, that is the only time that I'll eat them but I've started snacking on them every once in a while. But Spam is definitely only a thing that we eat when we're camping. What kinds of things do you guys only eat when you're camping? But you need to stock up on those because camping season is around the corner. We have two, two camping sites booked for, for May. It's gonna be a good May. But yeah, there's still some gaps here and, and I've noticed that my jars are taking up a lot of space because I'm accumulating jars and the cooking of my cans challenge i'm just getting so many jars which is awesome i'm gonna fill them up so fast but i've got jars everywhere now <laughs> where i normally have food but that'll all change that'll all change when the garden starts coming in so things are looking good down here slow and steady if you just devote a little bit of money with every grocery shop to things that you're stocking up on, then I think that you can stock up slowly over time. 150 is a bit high, probably. That's $300 a month for two people. Um, let me know, you guys, what you think of that amount. That's already like lower than I normally do. I used to do $200 every two weeks. I just find that's, that's more than I need. So I dropped it down. I'm trying to drop it down this year to, uh, to $150 every two weeks. And we'll see if we can we can do that still. We ate that small ham um, 
and it was actually a pretty big ham that I got in the last grocery haul. I still feel like I'm stocking up on meats because I, I got another giant ham. So I still have two giant hams in the freezer and I got all that ground beef two weeks in a row. So I feel like I'm still stocking up, not at a record pace, um, but still steady. So I'm pretty happy. So from Walmart, hopefully I'll have a picture of the receipt. It was $74.84. And then from Save on Foods, the total was $78.83 for a grand total of $153.67. A little bit over the $150, but not by much. Um, that's pretty good grocery haul. I think, I think that we'll probably run out of milk. So we'll probably have to go buy in another four liter of milk, uh, in the next two weeks. Uh, but other than that, that's not too bad. So if I add that to the running total, the running total that I've spent so far this year is uh, 437.74. gives a grand total of $591.41 on grocery hauls for 2022. I feel good about that. <laughs> that's not that's not too bad. What are we? We're into almost the end of April. Um and there won't be another grocery shop in, until May. So, so I think I'm doing I'm pretty sticking to the budget. Last last grocery haul I was $50 under budget, so so that's even better if I can get under budget um, on the groceries. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can click my face to subscribe to see more videos from me. I'll leave a link to the entire grocery haul, meal idea playlist, and maybe my cooking up my cans series, which is going pretty well too. <laughs> Thanks for being here and seeing my short grocery haul.